Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. So in this video, we are going to see a program to reverse an array in Java. So reverse means, for example, if your array has values, five values such as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, then the output should be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is the array printed in reverse order. So let's see how we can do that. For that, we'll be first taking an array. It can be either user-defined or a predefined array. Once we have the array, we are going to print the original array as it is. An original array is printed from i equal to 0 to i less than array dot length. So in straight forward direction, we print the array. But for printing the reverse array, we are going to reverse the for loop itself. So the for loop will start from array length minus 1 because the last element is at index array length minus 1. So if you have five elements, the last index is four. So I will start from array length minus one up to I greater than equal to zero. And I will decrement in this case because we are going backwards. So this is how we are going to code. Let's start quickly and understand this. So we'll first take an array that is going to be an integer array and we'll call it array one. will directly give values to the array. You can either take it from user or give the values directly. So these are our five values given to the array. Now let's first print this array as it is. So we'll say the original array is and using a simple for loop we are going to print each element. So I will start from 0, I less than array 1 dot length, I plus plus. We are simply going to print the values. We don't need print ln. We are going to print the complete array in one line. So it is going to be array 1 and each index we are going to print. So in this way, each element will be printed. After this, we'll give a blank line for break, line break, and then we'll print the reversed array is. So now we're going to print the reverse array, and here the actual logic starts. So this for loop is going to start from the last index. So that is array length minus 1. How to find the last index? That is obviously going to be array length minus 1, because if array length is 5, the last index is 4. If array length is 10, the last index is 9 and so on. So int i equal to minus 1. And now in the first iteration will be at last index. Then we are going to go up to 0. So i greater than equal to 0. Because the loop should go on till we get the first index that is 0th index and since we are going backward we are going to do i minus minus so this will ensure the loop moves backward now let's print the values we are going to print in the similar way so array of i so in the first iteration the last index then backwards the second last index and so on it will be printed in this order so instead of print ln we are going to say print and this array elements will be separated by a space again. So we are also going to debug this and check how it works. But first let's run and check if our output is right. So the original array was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm sorry here I didn't separate it with the space. So let's run this again. So the original array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the reversed is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in this way it has worked. Now we'll debug this for loop and check how it has printed the values. So I'm placing a debug pointer here. Let's debug this. So now here our array length minus 1 is 4. So it has started printing from the fourth index. Here array of i is going to to be the element at the fourth index that is 5. So if we step over 5 is printed then i value is 3 
and the array of i the value is 4 so the element at the third index so it has printed 4 then next it will be printing 3 then 2 and then finally 1 and it will come out of the loop so in this way we have reversed an array in java it is very simple using just a simple loop we can reverse the element and the concept here is that we start from backwards to reverse the array that is from array length minus 1 to 0 and we can simply reverse the array so in the next video we'll see more programs like how to left rotate arrays and how to find the frequency of elements in the arrays so for that stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you